jQuery comes with a bunch of DOM related methods that make it easy to access and manipulate elements and attributes. In this video I'm going to talk about getting and setting content and attributes. So we have this line that has some HTML here, it's a paragraph tag with a link inside it. And then we have a button here. So I'm going to use jQuery to add a click event here. So I'm going to use jQuery to select the text within this paragraph tag. So we see the ID is text, so I'm going to use a selector to get that. So I, and I'm going to console.log the text. So I'm going to do console.log. And inside the console.log, I'm going to do a jQuery command. So we're going to select the paragraph tag because it has an ID of test. And then I'm going to use the dot text method this will get all the text within the paragraph tag but it will not get any HTML within the paragraph tag so let's see what that does so if I click show content oh I was wondering why that didn't work but I forgot to put a pound sign or a hash mark here that's how we're gonna select the ID to select something in the ID you have to put this this symbol here before it so now let's try it If I click show content it's going to say learn to code with free code camp and as you can see it's not putting any of this anchor tag it's not putting a href stuff like that but if instead of doing text we put HTML here now it's going to show everything including any HTML within that so if I click show content now you can see it's going to put all this other HTML in here. If you put text, it strips out the HTML and just put the plain text. But if you put HTML, it's going to show all the HTML. We can also get the attribute values. So we're going to use the ATTR method. Instead of selecting test here, I'm going to select the element with the FCC ID. So that's going to be this link up here. So I'm going to get the href attribute. I'm going to put ATTR to get the attribute. And then inside the parentheses, I'm going to put href. Let's sh show that. And you can see down here, it shows what the link is. So we're getting the value from the href tag. Let's create another button up here. Instead of show content, it's going to be set content. And now I'm going to show you how you can actually set the content. Instead of just getting the text in the HTML, you can set it. For this button, it's going to be button 2. I'm going to just copy this here. Button 2. And let's select that element with jQuery. Okay, so we've selected the test element. And now we have the text method, but this time we actually put something inside the parentheses. When you put something inside the parentheses, instead of getting the text, we're setting the text. So let's try that. Let me run that. Oh, got to put the parentheses there. Okay, I'm going to hit set content, and the text changes to free code camp and is awesome. So if you put HTML in here, it's not going to work. Let's show that. Now let's try this. I'm going to do set content, and it's going to actually show the the HTML tags right in here. But if I change this into, instead of text, I use the HTML method. And now here, it's actually going to show up as bold. Okay, I'll, I also want to show you how you can update the value of an input field. But first I have to create an input field. Okay, now we have this input field where you, right now you can put your name and it it's defaults to my name, Bo Carnes. So we are going to make another button where we can set the, the value of the input field. So I'm going to do some more copying and pasting to add a click event to this third button. We're not going to set the HTML or anything. I'm going to put button 3 here. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to use the jQuery selector we got to get the input field with the name ID. And instead of using .text or .html, I'm going to do .val to change the value. Okay, let's try that. If I click set value, see the name changes to Quincy Larson. Now all three of the jQuery methods I just talked about, the, the .text, .html, and .val, also come with callback functions. 
the callback functions uh, have two parameters. So the first one is the index of the current element and the list of elements selected. Uh, all the examples I showed, we were only selecting one element. But you can select all the paragraphs or all the links, all the buttons, and so you're going to get the index of what, so the, the callback function is going to give you the index of the current element and the list of elements and the original or old value. Then, if you want, you can return the string you wish to use as the new value from the function. So let's try that up here. I'm going to change this back to text. So we're going to put in a callback function. So remember the parameters are the index, and then we're going to put orig text. So we have the index and the original text, and here's what we're going to put inside the callback function. We're going to put return. The old text is going to be the orig text plus we're just concatenating strings here so the new text is going to be now this is where I'm going to get this value from down here and we're going to just take, take off these bold tags also to show the index we're going to put that in parentheses okay so we're now going to set the text of this to this whole thing right here. So let's run that to see what happens there. I'm going to click the set content button. So look what it changed to. Old text, learn to code with free code camp. New text, free code camp is, is awesome, index zero. Uh, let's try something. See we have two paragraph tags. We have, so this is the, we have this paragraph and we have this paragraph. What I'm going to do, instead of selecting the ID test, I'm going to select just the paragraph tag. Now let's see what happens. Set content. So look, it actually just set content to both paragraph tags. And I did old text, learn to code with free CoCamp, new text, free CoCamp is awesome, index zero, old text, name, new text, free CoCamp is awesome, index one. It's basically an array, and the, the first index is zero, that's the first paragraph tag, and the second index is one, that's the second paragraph tag. But let's just change that back here. So you can do that with text, HTML method, or the attribute method. Okay, well thanks for watching. My name is Bo Carnes. Don't forget to subscribe and remember, use your code for good.